Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. This is Casey Kane's 2006 Mesma Chrome. Uh, standard finish, or not standard finish, but standard paint scheme car. Um, this car is a look, obviously, of the 2006 car that ran all season long. And then um, has a special finish to it. So, uh, 2006, it's, yeah, Mesma Chrome. Uh, one of 288, so not very many of them out there. And then the race fans only box, so not a ton of crazy details there. But it is a special finish, so let's uh, dig into it. So because it's a special finish, it didn't get a special box, but the special finish is definitely on there. So down on the left side, you can see we got our white stripe with the black number nine with the red outline, and then you got that. It's kind of a rainbowy. It said it's called mesmochrome or mesmochrome. It's it's um it's kind of like flash coat, but it's it's in this silver color. It, it looks really really good. Um, you know, it doesn't mesh with cars like this as much because unfortunately when you turn it red to silver, the whole car looks very different. Because you can see here we got the red wheels and they look really out of place because this whole thing is supposed to be red and instead it's this mess of my chrome. It looks good. I mean, look at that color. That looks amazing. But this would go really good on more black and white cars. Um, any of the colored cars, it doesn't really, uh doesn't really help it you take color away from the paint scheme and it kind of hurts it so um anyway let's go around right outside you got dodge mopar uh, on the back you got mcdonald's and dodge dealers uh, i said this is where you got all the that, that chrome finish fuel cells in the rear there uh din number is 231 yeah 231 uh roof flap do pop open there on the roof uh, you got our number nine up there. I love that number nine. That might be my, one of my favorite fonts for the number nine right there. I mean, Chase Elliott needs to run this throwback. I mean, it, you know, Bill ran it. Kane ran it. It's just a great number, and I guarantee you Everham wouldn't have an issue with it. Um, you got Dodge here on the front. There you see the front end of that Charger there with that, that Mesma Chrome Valence, and then that front grill plate or grill area. Dodge up there on the hood. I've actually got one of those hoods from the 2006 season uh, Dodge hood, so I'm pretty happy with that. But um, yeah, this this finish just overall is a very unique finish. You can see how it kind of rainbows. Um, I've had a couple juniors at one time that I was able to just I came across and sold. Uh, there you see the details on the inside uh, for the engine, looking good as always. These Gen 4 cars. I, for some reason, in the last video I think of the Jim, Jimmy Johnson one. I said Gen 6 instead of Gen 4. Gen 4 car. These Gen 4 uh, engine details are, are ridiculously good. Um, oh, also, yeah, that's the other thing. I do have the hood, so I know that on the bottom side of the hood it only says Wix. And it does. Uh, then, obviously, we got our other details for the cab and junk in there. Uh, there you see underneath um, the detail for the bottom of the car. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, with these, there's not as much to see because there's not a lot of race detail, but there is definitely some, it's just a unique finish. Um, I would definitely would recommend it on more of the white and black cars probably than the color, like turning red to this doesn't help as much, but turning a white car to this would look amazing. So those are just my thoughts, but uh, let me know your thoughts on this car. Let me put it in a good spot. There we go. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this car down in the comments below. Um, subscribe if you're new for daily diecast content. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Um, that I, uh, I try to upload these daily at least once a day, maybe sometimes twice. Um, so definitely turn on the bell so you don't miss the, when those go live. Um, other than that, this will wrap it up for me. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate all your support. And we'll see you in the next diecast review.